Hey guys, my name's Cody and in this video I'm going to be talking about Adobe Lightroom Mobile presets. Okay, so what is a preset? Presets, very simply put, are filters. We use filters all the time in social media. When we post a story on our Instagram, we can swipe through the filters and we get different colors, different textures, different looks. That's what a preset is. Those are preset filters on Instagram so we can take advantage of those to get a consistent look. Now, when I'm in my studio here and I'm taking photos, for example, of my girlfriend, sometimes we'll take 500 photos and I know that the lighting is the same and I know that the backdrop is the same and I know everything is the same except for the pose. So basically, I should be able to set the same settings on one photo and put them onto another photo and they should look identical or almost identical. I can take and adjust that photo if I need to. So let me dive into my iPad here into Adobe Lightroom Mobile and see how I can take the settings from one photo and put them onto the settings of another photo. Okay, so let's dive in. I'm gonna use the same photo from my previous tutorial. And you can see in this photo, uh, we've got nice lights, nice skin tones. We've got a little vignette happening. You can see the before and after right here. I'm gonna hold the photo and here's before and here's after. So you can see this is a group of photos. My girlfriend and I were posing with the same light over and over. We just did a lot of photos, but I want all of these photos now to look like this. So how can I do that? Well, I can create and save my own preset. I've already gone through all of these settings and made this photo just how I want it. Now I want this photo to match these other photos. Well, I want those other photos to match this photo. Okay, so let's dive in and see how I can save these settings and use them as a preset to change those other photos. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna dive in using the settings on the top right here. I'm gonna create a preset. And now I'm just gonna double check and make sure, oh, I want that on. I'm gonna double check and make sure I have all of these that I changed. I have the details, the effects. Oh, I definitely want the color, but I think the color is selected here. Just to double check, let's make sure that the color is selected. Okay, so it looks like I've got everything selected and I'm gonna name this preset. And let's name this Fun Studio Sesh. So that's what this preset is gonna be named. Okay, so all I have to do is hit the check mark up here. Okay, Fun Studio Sesh, okay? And now I have a preset made under my user presets under Fun Studio Sesh. So now I can go over to these other photos. How about this one? And I'm gonna click my presets. The preset tab is right here on the right side. I'm gonna open the presets and I'm gonna click this Fun Studio Sesh. That's the one that we just created. And look at that. I have the image matching the previous image. This is perfect. So now I can just hit okay. And if I scroll back and forth, I can see now our skin tones look the same. Our sweatshirt looks the same. The backdrop looks the same. The vignette looks the same. Everything looks the same. There we go, perfect. Now this works especially well when you're in a studio setting and the light isn't changing. If you're outdoors and the sun is changing every 20 minutes or so, you're gonna have a lot of varying effects here. But if you know that you're in, for example, a scenario that you're taking a similar photo a lot of the times, for example, say you're doing your morning selfie makeup routine and you take a selfie in the same window or using the same light every morning, but the only thing that changes is your makeup, well then a preset is perfect for you because you already know the texture and the color of, that you want your skin and you already know the lighting that you're using. So that's where a preset is really helpful and it's gonna speed up batch editing and similar light editing. In this scenario, it's gonna work almost perfect because I know that all of the lighting in this setup was the same. So I can go here and change all of these photos. I'm gonna hit okay and you can see before and after and now all three of these photos match perfectly. Okay, there's one more way that you can kind of use a preset. Really, you're just copy and pasting the settings from that photo. And I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So let me go back. And just to show you, I have three photos here that don't have any of the same color. And of course, I could go into this photo, hit the preset, and then click that same thing. But if I didn't have, for some reason, if I didn't want to do the preset, I could I could just copy and paste the settings and I'm gonna do that here. I'm gonna go up into the right hand corner, go into settings and I'm gonna copy the settings. I'm gonna set, set okay to copy the settings and I'm gonna slide over to this one and now I'm gonna paste those settings. 
there we go. And basically this has done the exact same thing as a preset, but next time I come into Adobe Lightroom Mobile and want to have the same effect, I'm not gonna be able to do that same thing because I'm gonna have to copy and paste whatever edit I just used. Whereas with the preset, I know that I can take those same photos with that same sweatshirt with the same lighting and get the same effect. So they're not perfect, it's not always perfect, but presets really can save you a lot of time, especially when you're doing batch editing. Okay, so now you know how to create, save, and use your own presets in Adobe Lightroom Mobile. I hope this video was helpful for you. I'll see you in the next video.